All right, pop the door. Aha! You fall into my trap. Oof! <sighs> Hello, I'm Brian, and welcome back to another video of XCOM 2 Star Wars. Uh, so in the last episode, we have uh, conducted a successful supply raid, and uh, we also have uh, extracted some of our uh, covert action members that get busted. <laughs> yeah, uh, by the way, uh, Although they get busted, they uh, they still finish the covert actions. Uh, you still get the benefits. However, um, you have to extract them, so there is that. Uh, before we continue, I would like to spend some supplies. Yes. See the allure of the Advent Therapy Clinic. A few minutes under the knife, and you've got a clean bill of health. Too bad you need a chip to get in. Yep, so I'll be getting a couple of recruits uh, that I believe I will enjoy using. Yeah, three of them is okay. <laughs> All right. Yep. Uh, is that any? Just is that all there is? I'll get started, Commander. Yep. And also, we would like to uh, upgrade our weapons as well. Uh, most likely, we are going to be heavily using magnetic rifles. Uh, it's basically the the most common type of rifles are that uh, the most common type of weapons that we are going to use so we are going to do the upgrades of that that's done anything else i don't think so well at least not for the moment at least not for the moment uh the bullpup and shard gun will require two engineers uh for that we just only the troops have been keeping count on alien kills might be a useful recruiting tool. We just, uh, yeah, we just have the one, uh, the one engineering staff that is clearing this alien machineries for ages. <laughs> yeah, but uh, because we are scanning on the black market, I would hope that I can use some of our intel's here available to. What? The aliens have just finished a new facility tied to the Avatar project, Commander. If we can make contact with resistance forces in the region, we could move on that facility <coughs> and set back the aliens' work. Commander, we've just received intel that one of Dr. Volan's escape test subjects is guarding a nearby Advent facility. Best be prepared before we try to take it out. Yep, so uh, this is actually uh, one of the DLCs uh, for XCOM 2. Uh, it features three different uh, boss level uh, enemies uh, when because i've picked the integrate uh, dlc uh, stuff uh, i i actually have these uh, enemies only appear in uh, black side i believe so yeah carry on and the avatar project is taking up i really don't like this <laughs> Okay, let's see. Do you have an engineer for us? No. We do have a laser sight. Uh, well, okay. I suppose. Anything you're interested? Very interested in Illyrium Crystal, huh? I suppose I can give you a couple of these. Sec toy corpses. I can give you one of these, I guess. I confirm. Yeah, not much can be done about this. Okay, fine. I was hoping we can uh, use some of the intel to get uh, uh, get another engineer going so that we can shorten the <laughs> the work time of this. But no dice, no dice. Okay, let's see. Assorted loot or supplies. Oh, let's finish this uh, supply scan before we uh, head to the um, 
had to scan the area to make contact. Priority message coming through, Commander. Oh! You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Our friends in the Resistance have shared what they know of these so-called Chosen, the Elders have sent after us. <clears throat> it sounds like we should expect these things to actively hunt us until we take them out. Time is not on your side. It won't be long before I find you. Commander. Wow. Resistance contacts plus two, huh? That's, that's actually a lot. All Intel rewards were increased by 10%. Black market pays premium for goods. Do we need that? I don't think we do. It is not this month. Uh, in the later month, we might need one of these. Uh, if you increase the resistance contacts, you can have more uh, regions connected to you, and uh, they will give you more uh, uh, missions, stuff like that. Do I plan on selling a lot on the black market? And maybe this one. I don't know. Intel is kind of like the premium. Uh, um a premium currency uh should be good okay my client will obey let's hope this is uh going to be fine all right complete the scan first results have exceeded expectations gauss weapon yeah so we have um better gatling guns uh, sniper rifles uh the Better Victor rifles as well. Resistance radio and stun and autopsy. Okay, instant stun lancer uh, autopsy. Let's go. The Advent stun lancer was apparently outfitted with the intention of serving as a civilian peacekeeping unit within the city centers. Although they are equipped with weapons capable of administering non-lethal blows, recent reports indicate an increasingly aggressive stance <clears throat> taken by these units. Kills me. Advent clearly intended for these units to be their means of dealing with any unruly civilians within the city centers. It seems they have come to rely on more brutal means of pacification in the time since. Yeah, so uh, stun lancer, autopsy complete. We have uh, advanced the arc throwers. We'll still need to spend some uh, resources to upgrade these, but it's good that we have. Uh, have these upgrades available to us uh these are most mostly about the <clears throat> uh melee part of it yeah pretty good uh inspired resistance radio research estimation time three days let's go I assumed you'd make that research a priority commander i'll notify you as soon as the report is available all right let's continue to scan we are in need of your experience yeah, let's go! Real mission! Oh yes, reward. Engineer. Intel. What do we do? Recover resistance operative. Okay, yeah, uh, assassin. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Setting course for the Arctic Yeah, so once you unlock the factions, uh, they will give you faction missions as well. <clears throat> I think once per month? Okay, so again, let's clear the deck and uh, <clears throat> again, I if I spend too long of time uh, struggling on what <laughs> on the setup, I might actually just cut this out. Uh, but for now, it should be okay. Uh, assault, uh, special uh, assault infantry. Uh, our scout, uh, Elena, and then we have combat engineer to act as a uh, cover destruction specialist, uh, firing one rocket and also the. Uh, grenade as well. We have our field support, uh, the Dan Mother, to help uh, do with a lot of shooting. And then, last but not least, our tech specialist, uh, which helps us in uh, a lot of different uh, uh, CC capabilities. So, let's go! Deployed. We're in the pipe. Five by five. We 
just got word from the Resistance. One of their top people was moving near the city center when Advent got suspicious of them. After making a break for it, the VIP holed up in a temporary safe house in the tunnels beneath the city. Advent is still in the area, but we're going in to facilitate the VIP's safe extraction. Keep your eyes open for hostile activity. Okay, so we are once again heading to the tunnels under Beijing on Operation Night Stank. We are going to recover resistance operative, uh, try to extract him and extract all XCOM operatives. Uh, there will be resistance and we'll remove them. Let's go. We are going to Beijing an awful lot of time on this playthrough. Huh? <laughs> VIP is hiding in the tunnels not far from your position. One of their field operatives is also on site to assist you in the rescue. Firebrand is standing by, but be careful. We'll have limited opportunities to set up a viable extraction point down there. Oh, this kind of, uh, yeah. So, uh, what happens is uh, this kind of opera uh, operations is that we will uh, travel to uh, this VIP. And once we reach this VI, uh, eliminate enemies, of course. And then once we reach this VIP, there will be ambushes against us. We will have to hold, uh, hold up, uh, for a couple of turns before we can have an extraction available for us. So let's go. Clumsy patrol is moving. Aha! ATRT. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Don't shoot. <laughs> Fire weapon suppression and micro missile. So we have to watch out for these kind of um, uh, mechanical enemies, uh, particularly this ATRT. They have the micro missiles, uh, which can fire uh, explosives for a very long range, can damage multiple people. So yeah, mm, not good. It will not live to see the day. That's for sure. <laughs> I do not intend to let them. All right. I'm all over it. Uh, some of us can take the high ground, or a sword can stick copy. on ground, and that ends the turn. On my way. Let's see where they're gonna go. And they're moving away. Moving to position. Commander. Remember, no matter how tough things get down here, we can't evac until we complete the mission. Of course, of course. <sighs> More enemies? No, not exactly. Uh... Closing on target position now. Let's go. All right, let's see. I go where I'm needed. Affirmative, moving out. Okay, next turn we are going to eyes on the oh, oh, Open the fire. Where are you going? <laughs> There's something out there. Okay, I'll I'll wait around for one turn. If they come back, then we can uh, engage it right here. My position is safe. Uh, do we have better ways to? It? Like we drilled, go. Okay. Yeah, we'll hold position for maybe one to two turns. Uh, there really isn't a turn timer. Who's that? Got movement here. On, on this kind of mission. So, yeah, safety first. Safety first. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Moving to defensive positions. Hostiles on the move. I believe they are on patrol. Or something. At least some of them should be uh on patrol. Uh -huh. Okay. Um 
I'm not so sure about this. Yeah, we'll wait one more turn. We'll wait one, one more turn. Yep, they're coming back in the wheel. Okay, that's good. That's actually very good. All right, let's go. Free targets. Is it free targets? Heading out, ready. Not exactly. Hmm. Yeah. So you can see here, um, mechanical units are usually tougher to deal with. Are uh, they? And also. Once we activate them, they enter the uh, Overwatch as well, so making it very important that we have a good uh, placement. We are all in good cover before we uh, engage them. However, we can always just do this to remove the Overwatch. Now we are free to move around. Okay, <laughs> gained one ability point from a height advantage shot. Pretty good. All right, I'll leave that. Now we have our tech specialist, so uh, I've talked about this, so we we <laughs> we can go through this. So you can see here, a protocol uh, uh, deploys more defensive smoke cloud on friendly target to increase defense. Pretty good. This acts like a smoke uh, smoke bomb. And uh, blinding protocol uh, sends to disorient enemies uh, within a radius, so they have uh, aim reduced, mobility reduced. Pretty good. And then there is also this combat protocol, very useful, uh, seeing that uh, there is an ATRT. If we use combat protocol on him, it deals 4 damage instead of the usual 2. You can see here it does 2 damage, so it's always fun. And also, this kind of uh, uh, the combat protocol never misses. <laughs> so, uh, damage for 100% is always very important. Okay, so let's see. Uh, if, if we have more options for this, 100% do 3 to 5 damage, let's go. Tell your gods I'm coming. I like this uh, take on the Reaper, they are more uh, liberal, they can be more liberal in uh, dealing with enemies even in the shadows because uh, let's see. Uh, because of their special abilities to remain in concealment if they have enough shadow stacks okay move a little bit forward and uh, because we have been doing a lot of shooting, I believe that uh, this particular group will be patrolling into us. So let's overwatch, see if we can catch them. One extra shot is always better than none. As you order, Commander. Okay, let's move forward. Again, there is no time concern. We just have to... Uh, so we can take our time Understood. Moving out. to get through. Let's do this. Affirmative. Covering now. Give me time to reload. Like we drilled. Go. Affirmative. Covering now. Now we play defense. Who's that? Uh huh. You're gonna come out what? No. Okay. Let's have some fun. If not, then the let's reposition ourselves a little bit. Let's move fast. Got it. Moving. Yeah, let's see if I can uh, spot the enemy. Okay. 
All right, there, there. Watching comes naturally. Covering fire. Go! We we'll just wait for it. Enemy movement. Uh, all right. This looks good. I'm at your service. They're not moving. Okay. Alright, so... Here's what we're gonna do. We're going to trigger the fight like this. What? <laughs> uh, okay, fine. Let's reposition. And, uh... See if we will trigger it, uh, because of our assault tr uh, troopers right here, they may be able to see him uh, on the next turn. In that case, they go into cover, and then we just come out from this door to try to ambush them. On Overwatch, Maybe not. In that case, orders confirmed on the move. Forward. Hello. Now I am the master. This is not good. Okay, run and gun. Move to here. And then, all right, pop the door. Aha! You fall into my trap! Copy that. Oof! <laughs> it just kills him! Perfect! Alright, let's see if I can, uh deal with this sieve without problem. On my way. I'm not very positive about this. Yeah. It's down. Okay, good. Okay, good. Uh, in that case... Who wants to kill? Yeah, let's do you. <laughs> Boom. What do we got here? Enemy eliminated. Yes, enemy eliminated. Eliminated. I move forward and move forward. Move it, secure the zone. Eyes open. Defensive positions. Okay, so there are no enemy turns, which uh, tells me that. Uh, all the enemies on the map has been dealt with. In that case, we will start to pose up on this area uh, to get ourselves ready. We can actually come here, huh? <laughs> that was not... Yeah... I've played this map before, I just haven't started from this position. This is interesting, actually. Moving to designated position. Ready to rock. No one will cross. All right, we'll pose up first. I don't want any surprise. All right, get to high ground. Already there. Be ready. Okay. Alright. Is the damn model in danger? No. But this one is burning. Okay. Yeah, let's approach. Moving out. Hello, mister. I, you're kidding me. Come on. Oh, alright. I have the VIP in tow. Moving VIP to do that. VIP identity confirmed. 
Firebrand is setting up for evac. We've got multiple contacts closing on your position. It's an ambush. Hold your ground. Yep, yeah, so as I'm saying, uh, we have to hold our ground. VIP can get out of sight. And keep your head down. Others will go on Overwatch. Get ready for attack. Overwatch. Hold positions here. I don't see what's dropping. <laughs> it's like it was right near his body and it was like, oh my god. Oh crap. Uh. Alright, they were them, please somebody. No longer a threat. Yes, no longer a threat. Perfect. And Oh crap, more of them coming! Okay, okay, okay. We'll deal with them, we'll deal with them. Where are they? 77%. Reload. Let's give it a try. See if I can deal with it. Maybe not. <clears throat> Unfortunate. Unfortunately, we may not be able to flank him. Position confirmed. Let's reposition. Oh, there is an interrogation droid there. That is a problem. Okay. I'm on the move. Lena will have to help us in this. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good chance to hit the droid, actually. Alright, let's see if we can deal with this first. Okay, perfect. So that's actually very important. Now. Our combat engineer will move here. Stay in full cover. What the hell, 61%, huh? Impressive. Very. Oh, free action, huh? I'm not gonna shoot with you. Uh. Elena, please, take care of it. Thank you! Good shot! So that you can overwatch, you can reload and overwatch, you keep her head down. Let's hold tight. Okay. Okay, just two troopers. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay, one down, one to go. Oh, 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 where are you going? Uh huh. Okay. I will reposition. I must reload. Come on, come on, shoot! Like we drilled, go! Alright. More is coming, huh? Okay. Roger that. Move now. We're going to give up our. I moved into the wrong tile. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Bastard hard. All right. Let's just make sure we have some form of Overwatch available. Let's see if we can take care of this batch of troops. I've got eyes on an okay. Position. Still troopers. So that's good. Alright, one down. The other one? Hello? No dice. 
Aha. No, we're not moving. We're going to eliminate the reinforcement before we head out. Uh, ambush on. Let's slide around here. Go on Overwatch. Uh, let's go here. Overwatch. And let's slowly approach our uh, our evacuation point. All right. See if the VIP can get out first. Yes, he can, and he shall. <laughs> get out. VIP secured in position. Firebrand has the VIP. Time to get the rest of the squad out of there before they get overrun by those damn things. No, we should be okay. A guys on Advent troops. Moving out. <laughs> supposed, the bodies just piled up on there. <laughs> Your friends will join you soon. Confirmed kill. Good job, Tim. Good job. Very good job. All right, let's get out of here. Charge! Affirmative. Watch my back. All right, let's go. I'm going. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Excellent work out there. Yes! Operation Night Sank! Done! Done, done, done! <laughs> Uh, the MVP is uh, again the assault infantry. Uh, it will usually be like that um, because the assault infantry will be moving around uh, very heavily, and also the shotgun does a lot more damage that compared to just the uh, uh, common rifles as well. Uh, Elena also very good, uh, providing us a lot of uh, enemy informations. Combat engineer, everyone is good. Good job, team. Reports of armed engagement today between peacekeepers and XCOM dissidents were deemed false by Advent officials. Citizens are encouraged to avoid the area as the investigation is completed. <laughs> Spreading misinformation since 2024! <laughs> Perfect. No one's injured. A couple of promotions. Let's go. Uh, all right. So tech specialists, uh, we always go extend the signal range. This allows the gremlin protocols and sniper rifles to be used as squad side range. Very powerful for a um for the tech specialists. I usually do not use a sniper rifle. I've mentioned this. I want the uh, um. Uh, the tech specialist to have the mobility to move around and then do something else instead of just taking the sniper rifle forcing them to be holed up in one position to do that however uh, it's still very important because sometimes you just don't want to get into range of a uh, certain max uh, you can see that the atrt it actually enters uh, overwatch uh, once it activates now if the tech specialist is out of range then if we want to use the um, haywire protocol to disable it uh, if we don't have this extended signal range uh, we will have to move into the shooting range uh, of that uh, of the ATRT to disable it which triggers 
the Overwatch, obviously. But with the extended signal range, we just make sure that uh, the tech specialist is uh, have clear sight uh, towards the mechanical units, and they can do their job. So, yep, here we go. All right, combat engineer. Uh, free smoke grenade. Or activate your flame floor leaves a smoke cloud. When attacks will full cover, incoming damage reduced by two. Attack cannot critically hit. Uh free smoke grenade. Free stuff uh that frees up your um, uh item slots. Always good to have. Always good to have. Alright, then mother! Uh, efficient targeting, smoke screen, or electronic surveillance. Uh, surveillance, I suppose. Yep. Yep, so surveillance it is. <laughs> Should not be a problem. Alright, we got a repeater. Uh, we got uh, plus one mobility, pretty good. And then there is the Evan data pad, very very good. Also, we get our additional engineer, finally. A glorious battle. Evan stands no chance against our combined might. Thank you, Vados. All right, we can assign our engineer to do. Now let's just work on this. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe not. Yeah, we can just uh dig dig through these ones. Okay. All right. Let's go. <laughs> let's see if we can hunt uh another. Missions before we end this video. Okay. Avenger plotting new course. Let's continue to scan the supplies. We need the money. More? More progress? Ugh, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. It's not halfway yet, but it fills up faster than you would have uh, uh you you would expect. So, uh. when inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. Uh huh. Resistance radio. Uh. All right. Plated armor. Trooper autopsy. Yeah, let's see if we can prompt uh, prompt and inspired uh, on plated armor. Although I had realistic expectations as to the limited resources and facilities available. To okay, okay, okay. All right, let's Commander, go. We can now construct radio relays in any region where we've made contact with the local resistance. Our research was a success, Commander, despite uh -huh. a thorough analysis. I have yet to discover what, if any, advantage the Advent Hybrid Soldier's enormous eyes provide. Testing their visual acuity will no doubt prove difficult. <laughs> yeah, because they're dead. Oh, we finally can uh, manufacture a better scanner. Well, I will send word as soon as we have something of note. Okay. Yeah, the actually the plated armor is uh, a bit more important than Our people the. people seem to work well together, Commander. Than the uh, weapons upgrade. We picked up some new information on the chosen during our last covert action. Keep this up, Commander, and we might just make you an honorary Reaper. Things are going so well. Sounds like my Reapers can take on some new orders. Our influence with the Resistance factions has motivated them to share some new information on the Chosen. Oh, 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 oh look at that! We could rip us. I mean, I'm very excited. I I love the Reapers. I I really do. They they are very very powerful. They uh, they are just good shooter. They can scout very well. And now we get another one. 
Let's go. Uh, who do I send? Roger. And uh, Kaya, I guess. Yeah. Let's confirm. Ooh, nice! Okay, oh, there is a... I saw there is a... someone... yeah. Warthark! What are you? Oh, another Assault Infantry. Very important! So we have more frontliners. Uh, assault Infantry are likely to get injured because they are always on the front line. They, are, uh, they, they will get shot more often, so... Good, good, very good. All their advanced technology. They had the drop on us for sure. But Advent, there's something we could never have prepared for, even with better gear. Between the propaganda, the handouts, and a seemingly endless supply of reinforcing peacekeepers, they're nothing but trouble for an upstart resistance movement. Yes, indeed. Okay, so in here we are going to grab the uh, tech specialist. So... All tech specialist soldiers protocol packages proficiency will now start at level two regardless of ranks. Uh, this is basically the way to sort of catch up your troops with that of the existing rank. So let's say uh, uh, one of our troops right now, uh, who that is? Uh, Dantra. Uh, she is now training as a uh, tech specialist. However. Once she trains up, she will still be just squatty and uh, have not a lot of uh, abilities uh, at her disposal. However, if we spend that 50 resources, uh, she will start with the... Um, Alright, no, not this one. Uh, she will start at a tier 2, so to speak. So you can see here, Proto Package, uh, level 2, gain the Haywire Protocol ability. This is very important. Um, if they get this uh, right from the get-go, it helps a lot. Uh, it, the Haywire protocol disables uh, the target um, uh, mechanical enemies, and if you opt to to opt for the options to uh, actually gain control of it, it will uh, also be possible. However, uh, gain control, I usually don't go for that simply because. Uh, it has a much lower chances and gaining control is like two turns which is not very helpful once they are out of the mind, uh, quote unquote mind control then uh, it could be a danger for uh, our troops as well we end up have to putting it down before the mind control expires so uh, Hewa protocol still very useful and then uh, the repair protocol eh, something else uh, gremlin protocol abilities no longer consume all remaining actions so yeah, if they start at level 2, uh, that is very good. Uh, of course, they won't have the uh, stats uh, bonus once they level up, but then they still have access to uh, more options than they would have if they just stayed at the common squatty uh, level. So, yep, it's pretty good. Alright. Let's continue. Okay, we finished. All right, let's see. Intel. We all that dissimilar, Commander. We have both lost, and in turn caused great loss for others. I shed blood in my master's name, just as you send others to shed blood in yours. There's a fine line between honor and hypocrisy. After we pay the initial intel cost to make contact, we'll have to scan the region for a few days before the local resistance cell comes out of hiding. Once we find them, we'll be up and running in the new region. Commander, using intel collected so far, we've managed to locate a resistance cell operating out of this region. It'll take us some time to scan for their exact position, though. Now let's see if we can uh, finish this scan. Maybe not. <laughs> All right, we will target. Uh, okay. Oh God, 
I hate this kind of objective. Protect the device. Uh, so here in, uh, again, New Arctic Operation Bunker. So we counter uh, the Hunt XCOM launches a UFO to Hunt XCOM uh, dark event, which is very good. However, protect the device, not so good. Why do I say that? Uh, right now, uh, in the early part of the game, it is not as bad because uh, the enemies don't do a whole lot of damage. And uh, what this does is that uh, we have to rush to the objective while uh, the enemy troops will be taking shots at the device uh, that you are supposed to protect and it is your job to try and kill as fast as possible and to avoid that device from being destroyed however uh it well in the early part of the game uh your enemy is doing like four maybe even six seven damage against the device uh but in the later part of the game uh there are enemies that deals like 12 damage <laughs> to the device which the device will be gone way 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 before you can even reach it so this protect device kind of uh, objective even if it counters a critical uh, dark event i usually don't go for it uh, especially in the late game however there is no uh choice uh but that we will have to go on to this one so i hope that we can uh finish this uh, without any problems and also again because the assassin didn't appear on the previous mission i would expect that she will show up so maybe she will show up uh however it's what it is and we'll figure out a way to deal with it but uh that will be wait <laughs> that will be for the next episode yes so yeah i hope that you have enjoyed this uh episode i uh, and uh, thank you for watching, I'm Brian, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.